Hello, my name is Alona Harker. And I'm Peter Kyle. And we're here from the Imaginal Garden Company. So, first questions first. What is the Imaginal Garden? The Imaginal Garden is in fact the landscape of your imagination. And it follows clear rules and has clear structures that are shared by most people. And then it has differences based on each of us and how we've lived our lives. Ah, that's very succinct. Oh, good. So the, um, so the Imaginal Garden is basically the ecosystem of your brain, of your imagination. Yes, it's the place where your unconscious meets your conscious and where forms that are unconscious come to um fruition or come to form, come to conscious form, so things grow out of there, um, thing, things sort of manifest from there for people, especially creative people, but for everyone. So when um, you say we're going gardening in the imaginal landscape? Mm, most people's imaginal worlds are fairly unstructured, uh, we're not very good at creating structure in these spaces anymore and this is very much a workshop about creating structure, creating architecture, creating landscapes that are safe and work well with us. and. Uh, manifesting the various forces that exist within us into characters that we can communicate with and, and come to agreements with. When you say characters, what do you mean? It's a complex question, but your unconscious will push forward characters with quite independent kinds of drives. So you might think about the conflicts between your desire to um, love someone and your irritation with them. You know, two quite clear characters within you that will manifest at different times. So a character is like a, a, a motivation or... A motivator, a force, a drive, any of those things that, that push us along. So you, know, you might think about the drive for security that so many of us have so strongly and it conflicts so strongly with the drive for adventure. And you know, how do you resolve that? So one of the characters or avatars or moti motivations that we look at, well two of them are the critic and the muse. Yep, we focus on them a lot. So in, in our workshops we also look at things like the procrastinator and also the idea or, or the... Uh, the mythology of the successful artist and what that means in today's world. So how do we do our workshops? Like, If okay. someone was to come along this, and they said, what do we do? This is what actually happens. You come into a room, we introduce you to each other, we talk about why we're, why we're there, and then we quickly try to work our way through the kind of framework that Ilona and I have developed around this and talk a little bit about where it comes from and what its history is. And uh, then... I drop you into a, a, a deeply relaxed space just by getting, you know, doing the ordinary old relaxation exercises and then guide you into creating a landscape that is structured the way you want it for your feeling best as you possibly can kind of thing. And in that space you will then call in various forces that you want to talk to, such as the news or critic, and having got them to come and reveal themselves, which is... <clears throat> historically based on the Greek idea of naming your demons, spelled D-A-E-M-O-N-S, so the creative forces within you. Um, once you've got a structure and a form that you can name, you can talk to that character and start trying to grow them up to be a little bit more um, uh, on your side, and not quite so immature, because so many of them were created when you were very young, and they often don't grow up with you. And they can be very demanding of your time <laughs> and your attention, especially yes. if they're quite unformed. So yes. this is just a way of helping your your inner motivations or your characters grow up so that they assist you instead of impeding you along your creative path. Or if they are going to impede you, you're going to have a much better understanding of why and what it's about and how to work your way around it. And how to talk to them about yeah, it. Yes, absolutely. So we run workshops um, throughout Australia and you are welcome to contact us if you have any questions whatsoever. Um, so you can contact me through Elona at theimaginalgardencompany.com And you can contact me at peter at imaginalgardencompany.com. Thank you so much and Thank we you. hope you have a great day.